good morning welcome back to the channel it's the 9th of august uh, it's quarter past nine in the morning and i'm down at the las dalias Ibiza star in san Juanio, opposite the san Juanio shopping center uh, nice little sort of family hotel uh, give you a little quick wander little tour around hang on a sec okay first impressions it's it's clean it's modern <coughs> excuse me as you can see it's where i'll be sitting you have fitness center here on the left hand side yeah pretty centrally located smack bang in the middle of san Juanio. a huge amount of things to do around you great little location as you can see i like the teams Now, there's quite a few Ibero stars on the island, as you can imagine. Okay, breakfast is over there. We have an entertainment room here. It's been cleaned at the moment. But as you can see, darts, nice bar. Now, I know there's normally little souvenirs being sold here. So uh, this is pretty early in the morning, so it's quarter past nine. Yeah, quarter past nine in the morning. People are still getting out having their breakfast at a pool. Doesn't look like it's too busy at the moment, although there's a lot of towels there. Okay, we've got a stage over there. Oh, it looks like a little restaurant down there in the corner. Okay, not the Okay, bearing in mind it's a quarter past nine in the morning. The beds are well covered. I don't even think I'd be up this early. And I normally be the Germans to the pool. So you have two pools, this one here, and a smaller one over the far side. It's not a huge hotel. As I said, great location. Let's have a look at the second pool. I'd say it's early in the morning, so there's not a huge amount of people here. So I don't mind wandering around this hour. Yeah, you've got a small, looks like a kiddies pool, 1.5 meter. Well, not kiddies pool, but a shallow pool. And there's your kiddies pool. So as I say, quarter past nine in the morning, all of the beds are nearly gone. So if you like your sunshine, I think you want to be up early. Uh, no, I am. I'm, I'm, I will admit, I was one of those people. When I stayed in hotels, I was one of those people that would get up at the crack of dawn and get my bed. I'd always use it. I wasn't one of those that left them and went away. I went up, had my breakfast, came down, and that was me. That was me ready to go. But, uh, yeah, I was one of those people. But, yeah, look, it's a clean hotel. It's a nice hotel. It, it can possibly do is getting the stair carpet cleaned but uh, that's the only thing I can see that would would fault it oh, yeah. uh, other than that all the communal areas are nice and bright and clean and there's kind of a mixed mixed clientele from families to older people so yeah from what I can see Definitely a nice little hotel. I'll show you where it's located. You have your chicken desk over there. Another little bar on this side. So all in all, when you look at the location, now you have in this direction, you've signed Mal and Sion Park. And this is the hotel itself. So, you're about five minute walk, six minute walk from the beach. Uh, you'll see the, you'll see the ocean now in a minute. And that's as far away as you are. And to be honest with you, most hotels, so that is the Las Dalias. Go to the sign, it's a four star hotel. 
Uh, hang on a second, put something in my pocket. I need to put my sunnies on because it's gloriously, as you can see, not a cloud in the sky. So you've signed your own new commercial shopping centre here, which has a Mercadona. Uh, Mercadona's shopping centre, if you are here on a Sunday, you're arriving on a Sunday, that one's always closed. Most Mercadona's close on a Sunday. It's not like back home in the UK or in Ireland, where shops are open seven days a week. Some of them here still respect uh, Sunday closing, but you do have little supermarkets if you are arriving on a Sunday and you need the essentials like milk and whatever. Yeah, definitely you'll, you'll have somewhere open. In fact, there's one literally just down that road, about 50 yards on the right-hand side. There's some beautiful restaurants around here. Uh, Embassy across the way, I absolutely love one of my favorites I'll be heading in there at some stage this week I think it's Saturday I think it's Saturday now last night ate in a beautiful little Mexican restaurant love my Mexican food or not Mexican restaurant god no that was the week, night before do you know what when you're vlogging food and vlog, you pick and eat in so many restaurants that I lose track tapas bar last night a tapas restaurant last night and one of the nicest, it's only a tiny little place, okay? Tiny little place. You watch the lean and I'll actually walk down as far as it and uh, I'll show you exactly where it is. So you have the Bougainville Playa, which is another uh, Ibero Star here on the right hand side. I'm going to see if I can get in there today and have a little look around. Again, four star, I think much more recently built than the one I've just been in. Uh, a lot bigger, and the pool area looks a lot better. I'm gonna have a little see again, see if we can get in there. I'm gonna try and do as many hotels as I can on this trip, to give people a few ideas of what the hotel areas are like and then what the surrounding areas are like, because it's, it's nice to know when you can make it all where things are. Now, back to last night. Okay, food was unreal. Actually, I'm gonna pop the food in now. service absolutely 10 out of 10 food I'm gonna give them 11 out of 10 it's probably one of the best meals I've had in Tenerife without question one of the best meals I've had in Tenerife so it's it's as you can see from the from the clip it's not it's not a posh restaurant it's not a fancy restaurant in fact I'd say it's quite a basic restaurant but there was a lovely atmosphere to it food as I said and as you can see absolutely amazing now that what we had we had five we had five tapas we had the croquettes we had two lots of uh, we had two lots of the scallops which is probably the most expensive thing on the menu they were 18 euros for four of them. Now, let me tell you, they were worth every penny of it. They were the most <laughs> expensive thing, but they were worth every penny. Now, the bill came to 71 euro, including beers, four beers. And as I said, if you take into account, this is it here. If you take into account the 36 euros of that, here we are, El Tagado. If you take into account that 36 euros of that was uh with scallops it was absolutely beautiful it's without question one of the nicest restaurants i've been and the food without question probably the best meal i've had 
in Tenerife. Certainly up there in the top five restaurants that I've had in. Staff, lovely. It's a family run restaurant. Uh, and food was hot, which is my my big biggest bugbear with food is when you get served, it's not hot. That was unbelievably hot. Absolutely gorgeous, 10 out of 10. Now, I'm not gonna go all the way down to the bus depot, but if you do need a bus, if you walk down to the right-hand side of the road, where those cars are going down, follow that road, about 500 yards on your, or meters on the left-hand side, you'll find the, uh, the bus depot takes you everywhere on the island, including the north of the island, which, if you're here, definitely worth doing. And I know I keep saying this about the buses, but they really are great value and they're actually fantastic service. So there we go, I'm gonna finish up here. El Tejado, without question, one of the best meals I've had in Tenerife in 10 years. So, thank you for watching. If you like what you see, again, hit the like, subscribe, bell for notification, and share. It really pushes the channel out, and the more people share, the more I do, more of these I can do. So thank you so much. Talk to you soon. Slan. So